most likely know, Minecraft Live just happened this weekend, and for many, it was a major disappointment. If you don't know, Minecraft just had their Minecraft Live, where they just every year announced their big updates and plans for the entire year. However, this year, it was a little different, and we're going to explain why you are wrong about Minecraft Live, and what this may mean for the future of Minecraft. So, if you watched pretty much every, any Minecraft Live before this year, you pretty much know how it goes. Throughout the whole event, there is a mob vote where they have people vote for the mob they want into Minecraft, which usually lasts a few days before and lasts to the event. Usually, Minecraft Live is about two hours, and that is a pretty long yap sesh. Um, the main difference between this Minecraft Live and previous Minecraft Lives were there was no mention of Minecraft Dungeons or Minecraft Legends at all. When Minecraft Live was first introduced, Minecraft Dungeons was beginning development, so they would also talk about that game as well. However, since both Dungeons and Legends has kind of gone the bunk and haven't been really supported with updates, they didn't talk about those games at all, so it was strictly just Minecraft. So, going into this, we knew that it would already be a little bit different as there were two less games to talk about. Yet, there would be even more different as Mojang, just a couple weeks before Minecraft Live was speculated to be released, made a major tweet that completely changed Minecraft Live forever. On September 9, 2024, Minecraft tweeted, As we look ahead to Minecraft's future, here's a glimpse of what's to come. Number 1. Releasing multiple free game drops throughout the year. Number 2. Changing format for Minecraft Live and retiring the mob vote. Number 3. Bringing a native version to Minecraft to PlayStation 5. While the third point isn't super helpful in this discussion, the first two are extremely, extremely important in Minecraft Live and its future. First of all, they basically announced they were completely changing how Minecraft released its updates and how they worked on the game forever, basically. Minecraft previously had basically just done one big update once every year, and we've seen that through 1.0 through 1.21 and even beyond that. So to hear this was a big change. Rather than just once a year, it seems that now Minecraft is focusing on maybe per quarter or maybe once every four months, which is definitely an interesting tactic and may help in promoting the longevity of the game as more interest is brought to it on a longer time span rather than just once a year. Additionally, they were completely changing the format of Minecraft Live, which is obviously why you're watching this. This was a huge change as it basically stayed the same for the past five years, whether a biome or mob vote, but now that was completely gone, and everything about Minecraft Live was changed. Actually, we've seen some of these implementations being added into Minecraft before. Starting in December 2023, bats were visually changed and decorated pods were changed into functional storage containers. While that isn't really exciting news for a lot of people, it is a big of a change than we've seen in the past in a not major update. Additionally, Armor Paws with Armadillos, Wolf Variations, and Wolf Armor was released in April 2024, way before 1.22. However, they have most importantly ensured that along with these regular content drops, developers will be focusing on long-term initiatives to ensure we continue to evolve Minecraft long into the future. So, just because there are going to be short-scale content releases doesn't mean we can get an end update or anything like that. So, an end update is still possible. I repeat, it is still possible. Please do not say that it's not. Anyway, Minecraft Live was completely changed as I previously said. They stated, we're changing the format for Minecraft Live and retiring the mob vote to bring you something new. Instead of doing one show per year, usually in October, Minecraft Live will now become a more focused broadcast and will happen twice per year. Each show will be packed with everything you need to know about the latest features we're working on, what's coming to testing, and the newest news from across the Minecraft franchise. So, maybe this is good news, or maybe it's not. As we saw with Minecraft Live more recently, this is probably what we're going to be getting into the future. Not only did we get a Minecraft update game news, but we also got some news about the very infamous Minecraft movie and a Minecraft in real life experience that's coming to Dallas, Texas. While this was pretty cool, many were left extremely disappointed. Besides the obvious hate for the Minecraft movie, as many absolutely hate it, me personally, I don't think it's that bad. I think it's going to be a uh, interesting movie, but I think you could have fun with it. A lot of people were extremely disappointed with how Minecraft Live went. As on screen right now, there are numerous and numerous tweets being added onto the screen that basically are upset with the amount of content we're getting. Minecraft has completely changed. Rather than just talking about a big update, they're now just doing a little drop of information at two Minecraft lives per year. Of course, the Mojang devs are lazy tweets also spewed through as that's been a long running argument in the Minecraft community. The validity of that can be debated, 
However, let's just focus on Minecraft Live for now. Basically, on my hours and hours upon research of this very important topic, a lot of people are completely upset. They think that this is all we're getting from Minecraft for the next year, and that is simply just not true. Sure, the Pale Forest is kind of boring. You don't really have a purpose to go to it. The creaking is cool, but once again, there's not really a purpose to go to it unless you want the pale wood. However, that's simply true about a lot of places. Most biomes in the game don't really have a strong reason to go to it. If you don't need glass or cactus or anything in the desert temple, why would you even go to a desert? Especially true with the Mesa biome, which doesn't really have any special mobs, it just has an increased rate in gold. So while it may be true that it doesn't really have too much of a purpose, not really everything has to. A good variety in the game is a great thing, and adding more content is not a bad thing at all. While it may not be your cup of tea, whether it's the creaking or just mainly decorations being added to the game, the next update may be your cup of tea. We saw with the trial tr chambers that the mace in the wind core didn't get added until after its announcement, so a similar could thing could be happening with the pale forest. Perhaps something with the heart of the forest be added to make some grass a weapon or something similar to that, that'd be really cool. Even perhaps a new shield with the roots of a tree. Obviously, I'm just spitballing random ideas, but you get the point. These ideas can be built upon and expanded upon. Just what is announced now doesn't mean that's what we're going to get in the final build of the game. Going forward, we have to remember that Mojang is constantly changing. As much as it'd be nice to get tons and tons of new stuff, they have to build for so many platforms of Minecraft and bug test, whether it's Bedrock and Java, that it takes a long time. So even if this update isn't really what I'm looking forward to the most, there could be a ton of future things that are even built upon better. We saw trial chambers be pretty huge and pretty intricate systems. So that doesn't mean that these big updates are done. They're just not going to be discussed as much as Minecraft lives. However, we're going to get smaller stuff like the pale forest, the creaking dog armor, all that stuff adds to the game. It makes it a lot more fun. It brings you back to it and has you play even more whether you would not play it before. My personal opinion, people are really harsh on Minecraft and Mojang. Obviously, it's one of their childhood games and they wanted to be treated best. Yet Minecraft is almost Minecraft is 15 years old at this point, and the fact we're still getting brand new content even yearly is a great great thing. Sure we have mods to keep the game going, but without the new content from Mojang themselves, the game would die out. So we need this new content and it adds a lot of spice into the game and is something that even if it takes a while, we should be patient at and support. That's just my opinion though. You can hate on me all you want. I don't really care because it's just Minecraft. So if you have a different opinion, that's all good. Leave your thoughts in the comments. We can have a discussion about it if you want or anything like the sorts. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed or found it informative if you didn't know about these Minecraft live changes. If you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe. We're trying to reach uh, 2,000 subscribers. Yep. So make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Also like the video. Thank you.